It was kind of that mood setting drizzly rain for some areas uh, and we are going to be dealing with some on and off showers for tomorrow. Sunday looks like we're, we'll have some rain, but it should dry out just in time for Halloween. I'll have that forecast coming up towards the end of this. And then again, I know the emails are going to come flying in. That is a flake down there. We'll talk more about that in the seven day forecast. All right, so here's how much rain has fallen over three quarters of an inch in Buffalo and uh, an inch or more in Dunkirk and Jamestown and Chautauqua County. You were the first to deal with the rain today, so that's where we had just a a good amount, healthy amount of rain. This is the system that's wrapping around, pushing this moisture into the Rochester region. We're kind of on the well, the lighter end of this, so we're just dealing with some showers right now. Nothing that's causing any war uh, warnings or watches for our neck of the woods, but again, a much different story for areas further east. All right, so here's future look showing us that the rain, it's kind of spinning and pushing it further west, actually. So it's uh, starting east and then headed in uh, our westerly direction. So tonight we'll have some showers popping up. And by the time you join Kevin tomorrow morning, some showers for the Niagara frontier. Now this would be for areas like Lockport and Rapids over towards Yates and uh, in Orleans County. And then it's really just hit or miss tomorrow. I do think that most of the area from let's say Buffalo and southward should stay dry during the late morning and early afternoon. But here come another wave of showers and then these could have a little more zing to them. So we're talking a few steady downpours at times are possible, especially let's say from about six o'clock through tomorrow evening and then some showers fading away. And then early Sunday we could start off with a few stray showers early in the morning. And then once we get to the afternoon tailgate time, things will start to improve. We'll even get a little bit of sunshine as well. And then as you drive home from, let's say a Bill's win, things are going to start to clear out. Some more scattered showers could just linger into very early Monday. But again, it's still breezy out there. Winds sustained around 10 to 15 miles an hour right now. Definitely a little more noticeable for areas around downtown. Those wind gusts have not been populating so much. So again, no strong gusts of wind so far. So that's also good news for us. But in terms of the forecast for the game, temperatures will be in the mid 50s. Again, you will have to dodge some raindrops early in the day for the tailgate. But by the time you get to the afternoon, things should start to dry out and actually improve. So uh, it is going to be a pretty decent day. 55 will be the high there. And then for Halloween, once you get into the evening, 49 will be the temperature. So it's kind of right on the brink of do you need an extra layer for the kids? Uh, and again, sunset will be at 609 on Sunday evening. All right, here's a seven day forecast. So we start to cool things down and then on Wednesday things get cool enough in the hills where we could have a few wet flakes, but it's not going to accumulate because once you wake up in the morning, it's just going to be wet grass that you deal with and then cool through Thursday and then we're staying in the 40s for most of next week. We're back with sports right after this.